my channel. Today I'm doing yet another KonMari method video. Um, I've done several of these. Make sure you check out the play playlist below. And um, I actually am on the kimono category of KonMari method and I'm almost done. I just have to go through like all my decor items and my kitchen items which I'm doing today. Everything in my kitchen. And then what else? Oh, electronics, which I think I'm gonna leave that up to my husband because he's the tech guy here in our household. So, um, and then the very last thing is memorabilia. So I still have those um, categories to go through, but today I'm going to be going through everything in my kitchen. We don't have a very big kitchen, um, but I'm going to be pulling every single thing out and we have this, these areas over here too. I'm going to be pulling everything out of these cabinets and I'm going to sort through everything and if, see if it sparks joy or not, if it's serving a purpose, and if it's not, it is out of here. Anyway, let's get started. guys can tell we are very limited on counter space in here so I'm actually going to be um, going through all these items and cleaning out the shelves up here and putting everything back in there and then moving on to this side and laying it out on the shelf that way um, so as you can see I have like no space whatsoever so I'm going to go ahead and wipe down these shelves and don't look at the liner in there. It's like safari jungle. We're eventually going to remodel our kitchen, hopefully. Knock down this wall and this will be like an island, so it'll be open to the dining room. But that's on down the road. But <laughs> So I'm not too worried about changing the shelf liner right now. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to go through and clean out the shelves and put everything back. And I have to say, it does look a lot better. Um, what are these cats doing here? Why? Rex and Gary. I know you guys like to be on camera, but you can't be on the counter, boys. I swear, no matter how much we like get them off the counters, they always get back on. All right, second side of the cabinet is emptied out and I have everything laid out and um, yeah now I'm gonna go through and make sure nothing is expired and start placing it all back in here and I will show you guys the end result all right, y'all, it's the next day, and I ended up <laughs> stopping last night at like nine o'clock. I was worn out, and I was like, I can't do this anymore, so. Um, but I will show you the progress of the other side um, that was made. So yeah, 
look how much better that looks. Doesn't that look awesome? So I put my cookbooks up here with lunch boxes, extra lunch boxes, and all the um, like this is cake stuff, decorations and measuring cups. Actually, no, not measuring cups. But, oh, birthday candles and stuff in here. And in here, our cabinets are so old. I can't wait till we remodel because they, I can't adjust the shelf height. So I have to um, put things in weird places like these oils. They won't stand upright. So I put them in here like this. And I don't use them very often, so it's not too inconvenient. So yeah, I just have my measuring cups and things that I don't use too often in here, like our, um, what's that, a cheese shredder, a shredder of some sort, wax paper I don't use very often. And over here I just have all my spices, extra Taco Bell sauce, <laughs> we love our Taco Bell. And then over here I have just extras and that was my dog, if you heard that. Um, we are going to be decorating some Halloween cookies soon, so I have this kind of front and center so I don't forget that I have these sprinkles to use on them. And then I have other um, baking stuff on this side. And my daughter's lunchbox that she got raspberry juice, stained it. I wonder if I can wash it out, but yeah, so that is the progress. I've made so far. I think it looks so much better than before. And I still have space in areas to add more food once I go grocery shopping. The next area of the kitchen I'm going to do is these, this area here and these drawers. This drawer I actually did recently so I'm not going to worry about it. It's like our junk drawer. But I need to go through that drawer this drawer and this drawer underneath here. Wow, I didn't realize how bare it is under there. That's good. And then I need to go ahead. And you know what? I don't think I'm even going to pull everything out because I already know what I want to get rid of just by looking at this. And it's not very much, so yeah, let's do it. for those two drawers, right? Oh, in this drawer. Yeah, I like it. Can't wait till we get new cabinets though, so I can have new liner up in here. Okay, so we have this George, huge George Foreman grill that's been sitting on top of our cabinets and you can see it up there. It's not like it's hiding on the top up there drives me crazy, so, duh, why don't I hide it and put it down here where there's open space? Like, why haven't I done that yet? <laughs> Product. I just kind of tidied up um, the lids because we do use those quite often and um, have our clear bowl, mixing bowls and pie plates, our electric mixer, extra glass storage bowls. Oh, and back in the back there's my fondue thing. Um, I need a new crock pot. <laughs> that one is so old, but yeah, that's where I keep my crock pot. The George Foreman fit perfectly right there. And I have extra Tupperware, large Tupperware there, and paperwork there. Um, and there's magazines at the bottom of that that I take when we travel. 
have long road trips or whatever. And then up here I have all this extra space. I have doggy treats, which we need to buy more of. And I'm sure that I will find something to go in this space eventually. Okay, and I forgot to mention that I had sugar and flour that was in this cabinet here. And I put the sugar in this container and the flour in that container. And inside of this, I have extra water bottles. And now we are going to move on to this area of the kitchen. So we just have these cabinets here. You guys are wondering what that is back there? <gasps> okay, that is slime. Not blood or anything creepy like that. Yeah, it's dried slime <laughs> that you should probably get up there and like clean off. Yeah, well, come here, Izzy. No! Come here. <laughs> You're lucky we're going to renovate our kitchen one of these days. Oh my gosh, so <laughs> this is going in the trash. Slime, Haley. Slime everywhere. Okay, so now I'm gonna start putting the Tupperware back in and I'm getting rid of anything that doesn't have a lid or a match, you know. So, here we go. So here's the end product. Oh my gosh, I wish I could just, I need to scratch, scrape that slime off because it's going to drive me crazy. Or maybe I'll put something in front of it to hide it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, that's better. You <laughs> can't see it as bad. But yeah, would you take a gander at how awesome this looks? We still have some dishes that I need to put in the dishwasher that will be going up here. but. We have this whole space up here that is open for maybe more Tupperware or just keep it open. Um, but yeah, so that looks so much better. I love this process. So now I'm going to go through this drawer and this drawer I'm not going to go through except for this part right here because um, we recently bought new silverware. So, I won't need to go through that, but I will go through this, and this is not going to be fun. Yikes, so here is everything that was in that one drawer, and I've actually I threw away some stuff too, um, but yeah, all of this definitely won't be going back in this tiny drawer, and I need to find some sort of um, liner to put in this because that drives me crazy that bare wood so I'm gonna look around my house and see what I can put in here okay I know this is tacky but <laughs> found a hand towel that I'm just gonna keep in this drawer for now because it's a lot better than that bare wood so yeah I'm gonna start the process of putting stuff back in here all right here's the finished product I have to say it looks a lot nicer all right so now I have to tackle this area. Oh my gosh, would you look at it. I'm, I'll probably end up keeping like everything that's in here, but I just need to organize it a little better. I have a little helper now. She's going through her cups. Uh, bowls to see which ones she wants to keep. We can get rid of this. Tomorrow, I use that for my drink. I wanted to. Okay. All right. So we're gonna keep this. We'll put your bowls in here and your tomato cups in here. Left in the kitchen is this cabinet, this drawer, and that 
little cabinet and then the cabinet on top of the fridge. I'm going to wait and do um, this cabinet under the sink because that's more of household supplies, which is another kimono kamori category. Oh, that was hard to say. All right, here is the end result. Now I'm on to this drawer that is just a hodgepodge of random things. And I think that's the same case with this. Oh my gosh, look at how bare this drawer is now. I have like this eye that goes on our tree outside, but the hook broke off. So I, I do want to fix this because I love it because it's like a face that goes on our tree. But yeah, this is all that I have in this drawer. It is so nice knowing that it's not cluttered and yucky. All right, y'all, check it out. I only have these items up here, and then the extra lunch boxes. Well, we use these every day almost. This is Haley's, and that's mine that I take to my work. But um, and then I have plastic utensils. Nothing else. It's nice and clutter free and I only have what I know I'm going to be using in here so yeah much better okay it's and this is on top of the fridge the cabinet over the fridge and this is the only thing I have up here so don't have anything to go through up here which is a pleasant surprise here is the stuff that I will be donating or um, giving away or trash I'm gonna recycle all these extra containers and lids and stuff but yeah that's quite a bit of stuff and I threw away a lot of stuff too um, and this is just items that were in the kitchen but definitely didn't belong in the kitchen so so that's it for this KonMari video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that I've motivated you to go through all the items in your kitchen and maybe get rid of the things that don't spark joy or that don't serve a purpose anymore. Um, make sure you subscribe if you're new here and give this video a big th thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.